the question comes up often, how do I keep my deer hunting blind windows from fogging up while I'm in there? If you're in there, you might have a Mr. Buddy heater. I got the Mr. Buddy heater right now cranked on high. I've tracked in some snow, so the humidity in here is pretty high. And what I'm testing today are four different things on a window. This is one quarter inch acrylic sheet uh, plexiglass. I guess plexiglass is acrylic. Uh, Lex sand is polycarbonate. There are some differences. I'm not a scientist, so I don't really know what they are. Sounds like um, the Lex sand is a little bit harder and more shatterproof, but the plexiglass is a little bit more scratch proof. But this is a, an acrylic sheet plexiglass and it's quarter inch thick. And so what I've done is I've divided it into four sections. In the first section, I'm going to try with just cleaning with just uh, warm water and Dawn dish soap. And that's it. Nothing else. Just cleaning the window. The second is going to be the uh, baby shampoo. It's just something that I've seen a lot of other people try. So that'll be in the next section. The third section is Rain-X plastic water repellent. And so that'll be on the third section. And then the fourth is an idea that I came up with, and that is just scent-free soap uh, for uh, body soap for hunting, wash shampoo and body, body soap. I thought that if the baby shampoo works, then maybe the scent-free soap will work. I don't like the idea of putting baby shampoo in my on my windows or shaving cream or any of these other things that would just really smell. You know what baby shampoo smells like? It smells like soap. And I don't want to... I'd rather not do that in my, in my deer blind if I don't have to. So that's why I'm going to try the body soap and shampoo that has no odor. What you're not supposed to do is use Windex or window cleaner on plexiglass or Lexan. And you are not supposed to use paper towels on them because uh, I guess they can scratch it. You're supposed to use a microfiber or a nanofiber cloth. I've got two microfiber cloths here, two different colors. Um, that I'm going to be using to put these uh, four different products on the on the plexiglass so that I don't scratch it. So don't use paper towel, don't use Windex for cleaning your plexiglass or Lexan windows. So I got this window cleaning solution here. Again, it's just a little bit of Dawn dish soap in a bottle, spray bottle of warm water. I couldn't find just an empty spray bottle at the dollar store, so I bought a $1 bottle of window cleaner. And uh, I didn't really need any more window cleaner, so I just popped open the windshield washer reservoir on uh, the old blue, I call this old blue truck, the blue beast, it's a work truck that I use, and just topped off the windshield washer reservoir with that, with that window glass cleaner, so that I had an empty bottle for my cleaning solution here of Dawn dish soap and warm water. So as you can see, I spread it, or sprayed it pretty liberally on this window before I started wiping it down. The window wasn't real dirty, but I wanted to make sure I started with a clean window before I tried any of the other products on there for the uh, for the experiment here. So after quite a bit of wiping with the microfiber towel, I got it relatively dry and then decided to go ahead and tape it off in four different sections with some masking tape. So the first section, I'm just going to do nothing, no nothing else other than the soap and water treatment. The second section is going to get some baby shampoo. So I put a dab of baby shampoo on there and spread it around. It took a while. I mean, it's kind of it kind of leaves a film on there. But one thing I did notice after wiping that baby shampoo on there is that it started to defog immediately. And the more that I wiped the ba the baby shampoo residue off, the the less foggy the window got. So I could see already that was going to work. The third section. I'm going to put on the Rain-X. Now this is a Rain-X for plastics. There's Rain-X for glass, and apparently you're not supposed to use the Rain-X for glass on the plastics, which are you know acrylic or Lexan or whatever we got here, plexiglass. And another thing you're not supposed to use besides paper towels for cleaning plexiglass and Lexan is cotton. You're not supposed to use cotton cloth either. The next section is gonna be the Scent Away body soap and shampoo. And so I basically put that on the on the window like I did the the baby shampoo, wiped it off with the microfiber towel. So as I applied the scent free hunter soap here, it didn't take long to see that the fog was being reduced instantly. After treating the window sections, I've waited about ten minutes. Still have the buddy heater going here on high. 
snow is melting off the floor. There's humidity in here. This is a you know another window right next to it that's uh, it's the a quarter inch acrylic or a plexiglass. So there's definitely fog going on in here. This is the window that I've treated in the four sections. Just the uh, Dawn dish soap and, and warm water didn't seem to do much at all. In fact, it's pretty foggy. The next one was the baby shampoo. It's actually not bad. You know, there's some streaking in there, though, and I wiped it as good as I could. It might be best to try and put these products on in the summer when there's, you know, it's, you just don't have the cold and the humidity. Um, but overall, it's not bad. There is still some fog there, and it, it's a little bit blurry. The rain seems to be a little drier than the baby shampoo one, but there's still some fog there, too. And then lastly, the, the scent-free body wash hunter soap, that performs the best. I mean, there's, it's probably has the least amount of fog. There's almost, there's zero fog. Little bit of, a um, little bit of a cl clarity issue there with the, you know, it's the, the soap residue, but boy, that's by far the best out of these four. And it's also scent-free. So I'm going to be cleaning my plexiglass windows and my blind with the scent-free body wash, scent away, scent killer. They make all kinds of different ones, but I think I've solved that problem uh, just from experimenting here. So there you go. There are the results, the proofs in the video and the experiment. Turns out we've had the, probably had the product all along in our shower or bathroom cabinet or whatever. So I know I'm going to be using this on um, all of my plexiglass windows and my deer stands. I'm glad there's a scent-free option. I don't know if anybody else has figured this out. Maybe there's a YouTube video out there already, but um, I haven't seen it. I have watched a video where a guy did, uh, he took his uh, car window and tried some different things, shaving cream, a potato, some other things that other comment people, uh, subscribers had commented on there. But I didn't want to, I don't want to get too crazy since this is plexiglass or Lexan, which is, you know, it's a little bit easier to damage than glass. So don't use the paper towels. Don't use Windex. Go ahead and use the scent-free body wash and uh, your microfiber towels. And so you can see that big buck out there and shoot it. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please consider doing so. Thanks for watching my video and we'll see you in the next one.